Hey guys, welcome to Reddit Brew Shorts. Today, I will be reading in the r slash Just No Mill subreddit. So let's jump into it. I'm third wheeling my own wedding and it's giving me cold feet. My future husband and I have been dating for five years and engaged for two. I've always gotten along well with my future mother-in-law, but lately she has become overbearing. She offered to help us pay for our wedding, which we are incredibly grateful for. However, she has controlled every aspect of our wedding planning. I have social anxiety and asked that we have a small wedding. I got told, I had over 500 people at my wedding. It's going to be a big wedding. You just need to get over it. I don't know over half of the people on the guest list because of all the people she added. She has referred to the wedding as our wedding on multiple occasions. She removed my email from the venue's emailing list so that only her and my future husband are receiving information. Our venue has six rooms to spend the night in and one honeymoon suite on site. We were going to offer the six suites to our wedding party because over half of them are traveling from out of state. She threw a fit when we wouldn't allow her to rent one of the rooms because and I quote, I'm not going to be away from my son on his wedding day. Spoiler alert, she didn't get to rent one of the rooms. My future husband invited me to meet with the restaurant to plan our rehearsal dinner after she had arranged to meet with them with her husband and my future husband without me. Told us that if we moved farther than 20 minutes away, it would be too far and wasn't permitted. And if we did move farther than that, she would move wherever we did. Called me an ungrateful bitch to my future husband because I wouldn't tell her things I had planned for the wedding in fear of her changing them. Calls my future husband multiple times during the day to just talk for a minimum of an hour even if my future husband and I have plans. I could write a book on how her relationship with my future husband is overbearing and manipulative. It honestly makes me feel like I'm the other woman. I love my future husband with all of my heart and soul, but I don't know if I can do this. Update! I'm third wheeling my own wedding and it's giving me cold feet. I wrote a letter to my future husband outlining my concerns, but he found it before I was ready to give it to him. We had a pretty big fight about it, but it provided him with a lot of clarity. I told him that I could not be his wife if he treated his mother as a wife. He didn't have much to say about that, but he's not a man of many words when it comes to his emotions. However, he has shown a huge difference in his attitude towards my future mother-in-law and I. He has made an effort to try and wean my future mother-in-law out of wedding planning and has made a conscious effort to put my emotional needs before hers. We have started putting boundaries in place and although it's been difficult, I can't write him off. He honestly doesn't know any different. He doesn't know that mothers aren't supposed to act like this with their sons. This has been 28 years of her emotionally depending on him and breaking the cycle is going to be difficult. I love my future husband and I still absolutely have my reservations, but if he's willing to put in the work, I am as well. Since my post, my future husband and I have been in counseling and have done multiple things planning wise without Mill successfully. One thing that we have implemented is having her help with projects that we don't particularly care about, i.e. welcome signs, etc. as a diversion. It has been surprisingly successful, thankfully. I have also given passwords to our vendors and made it explicitly clear that changes are only to come from myself or my husband. As of now, the wedding is still on, but now it feels more like two wheels instead of three which is a huge relief. Hopefully this is the last update, but I'm sure my future mother-in-law will do something else that will warrant a post in the future. I totally understand that her husband doesn't realize that it's weird and unhealthy for a mother to be this overbearing, but now that this new information has been brought to light, I would suggest that OP and her future husband maybe postpone the wedding for a bit. The reason I say that is because OP needs to know if her future life partner will be able to actually stick with boundaries regarding his mother. If OP is already having second thoughts and reservations about whether or not she can handle the relationship between her future husband and his mother, then don't get married yet. 
stay in premarital counseling, see if future husband is able to handle his mother properly over the next, let's say, six months to a year. Then get married. Test the waters before jumping into marriage. That's the whole point of pre-marriage, to see if you can handle marrying someone and their mom baggage. Because it's a lot easier to leave a situation when you're not married. But overall, that is a great update, and I'm glad to see OP's future husband is taking the correct steps toward a healthy future with OP, and I wish them both the absolute best. But anyways, that is all for me today. I hope you enjoyed that Just No Mail story. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I truly appreciate when you do, and I will see you in the next Reddit story. Bye!